Well, they're obviously very, very important. Um, they're something that people have on them all the time. So constantly connected to review sites, to finding out what attractions you should go to, when and where and how to get there. All of the information, obviously, it's just at your fingertips constantly. So very, very important. Um, that it's growing. I think he said that he's used 15 tourism-based apps without having actually travelled anywhere. Um, obviously when you work in tourism especially, constantly tracking things like TripAdvisor and, and all of these kind of things are, are really, really common to do just to check on stats and reviews and the, the status of all the attractions, things like that. Um, I, I'm kind of obsessed with using maps and finding my way from place to place as well. Um, I was in London two weeks ago and I spent a lot of time on the TripAdvisor website finding out which um, restaurants were nearby and, and where to go to and star ratings and things like that. Yeah, well, so it was companies developing at the moment, so we're not launching until April. Uh, we were looking at creating an app um, but what we decided again is to actually go down the, the mobile um, site app, well, not app, mobile site and anything else, and um, just people sort of open and they're accessible on all all technologies rather than just, you know, an iPad or an iPhone or a Blackberry or, or something. Um, part of the point though with our business is it's going to be itinerary based, so through the website you'll be able to go online. Say you buy tickets to go to Edinburgh Castle, it'll tell you similar attractions, how to get to them, how far it is, what cafe stop-offs there are on the way. Um, so it'll be very, very important for people to have access to our website and all of our information all the time. Because obviously if you're up at the castle and you want to know where to go for a coffee that's good, that's close by, you're not going to be able to pull your laptop out and start mm -hmm. sort of typing away. Whereas with a smartphone, you can just do that constantly. Very, very helpful. I mean, obviously, I just looked at the list of all the people that attended this today. We have people from all the major attractions in Edinburgh and from various places all over the Lothians. So, as far as networking and building up contacts goes, also seeing sort of what your competition and your your um, sort of your, your peers are doing with regards to smartphone technology, finding out where exactly you are in the grand scheme of, of forward thinking, um, it's very, very useful. Definitely.